Hey everybody, welcome back to- Oh yeah, I forgot about her. Welcome back to Outlast 2. Um... Let's keep going. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Sorry, it's been a few days since I've been back here and it's like, whoa, I'm totally expecting the worst. Getting worse? Let's motor. Whoa! Oh yeah. Oh, I can record this! Jeez. She? How do we know this? There! The chapel! We can take shelter! Are you kidding me? That's so far! What is that? There's so much overlap now between the past and now. I don't know what's real. Whoa. This is hopefully not real. Jesus. Keep pushing. Come on, Lynn. We have to get inside. Here, can you rest here? Oh boy. Oh no, don't. No, no. Don't do it. Oh god. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit! Ugh. That's how I've been feeling. I, down. Uh, I can't do this! You can! You can do this! Oh, God! Something's wrong. Just keep breathing. No! Ah! It hurts too much! I know, baby, I know. But you can do this, okay? Just keep breathing. No way! Fuck. What the ah. fuck? Oh god! Oh god! Keep it's it's just push. It's... Ah. Whoa! No. 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 We're losing her. There's nothing there. There's nothing there? Oh, Jesus God! <laughs> Lynn! 
said you haven't even kissed her yet. What? Like in Beauty and the Beast? Oh, you mean drama. The play. Whoa. We're saving for the, like, actual night. Uh-huh. We are. Okay. We, like, <laughs> cheek kiss. So, like, is she your girlfriend? So, like, probably. Yeah. Or else. Or else what? <laughs> oh, this is why she was on top of us. Wait. I got you again. I got you again? Oh, look who it is! I didn't care about children. But yours... I am powerless again. The child's too strong already. You've murdered paradise. God has gone silent. Since the storm, the birth. Who will he have if he destroys us all? Who will he have left to punish? I killed my children, all of them, every last one. There's no more perfect faith than that. And still, God is silent. Kill that child if you can. If you love anything at all, crush its skull under your heel. I know God doesn't hear dead men. But I expect he answers them. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Cover your eyes, kids. <laughs> what? This is, uh, not good. The priest dies. He didn't have to do anything. You were a child. Nobody could expect anything of you. None of this is my fault. Is he the representation of the priest that hurt Jessica? Must be. I just, I don't, is this real? Like, is this real? Or... 
Look at all the, this is like, look at all the suicide. Like, what the f- A throne? I can't even walk through them all. Oh yeah. Tiny Blake again. <laughs> I'm over here. This way, Blake. <laughs> this room. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Look at her neck. I'll never let you go. You'll never let me go. Now the light has gone away. Savior, listen while I pray. Begging thee to watch and keep. And send me quietly to sleep. Watchful Savior, wash away. All I've been wrong today. Help me every day to be gentle, gentle. More like thee. What in the world? Okay, well, first of all, I feel bad that I had like three day hiatus because we we're so close to the end. I, I, I had no idea that we were that close. Second of all, what in the frick? So... Okay, okay, but there's like, there's a couple of things. So, uh, number one, okay, well, she, she says the thing at the end, she's like, there's nothing here, I think. Is that like, this is, this is all a hallucination, or this is all like, I don't know, purgatory or something? Like, there's just, there's nothing here. Like, they were very, um, we know they went to like that Catholic school or whatever, and like heaven and hell there's very clear like distinction about who goes to where and maybe she's like there's nothing referring to maybe the afterlife which um you know how we had all those like flashes throughout the game uh there was one at the very beginning too like when we crashed the plane and maybe we we're dead the whole time which actually hold on this actually could make sense <laughs> If we're dead the whole time, it would kind of explain why some things obviously just didn't make sense. First of all, these people. I mean, they're all crazy and bizarre. But second of all, the pregnancy thing, like she was not pregnant on the on the on the on the helicopter. Right? So like, how did we go from not pregnant to hugely pregnant giving birth? That's obviously there's a big disconnect there, which would seem to mean that this isn't a reality. So, those flashes of light could be, I don't know what they are, I don't know what the flashes are exactly. But it could be like some type of control thing, um, could be, I'm not sure man, it's a bit, it's a bit up in the air. But I'm starting to think now that if we go back to the very beginning and we have the helicopter crash, maybe that was it right there and this is all like, this is this is essentially like heaven or hell or purgatory, whatever the whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the afterlife, okay? And so we're like feeling this immense guilt for the whole Jessica thing because we didn't stop her from getting killed by that um, that priest or whatever, or basically, you know, getting killed by that priest. Um, and then you could see like with Noth at the end how he like killed himself. Maybe that was. Symbolism of that priest. Um, man, I don't know. The other thing could be like where she was saying like there's nothing here. It could just be like the baby. But the pregnancy thing throws me off because there's no way that she goes from not pregnant to pregnant like miracle baby. And then like it just doesn't make sense to me. So it's got to be that everything after the helicopter was like 
either a hallucination, maybe he's like crazy or something, or uh, he's dead. <laughs> like that's all I could. That's all I can think of. But um, I'm interested to hear what you guys think because you guys probably know better than I do. Um, I will say. I will say there's a couple of things that I really loved. The atmosphere in Outlast 2 was exceptional. Like exceptional. The way it was, the way it looked, the sound design was like there were times where I was like, I was getting hair, like my hairs were standing up on my arms because of the sounds. And I was so uncomfortable. I didn't need anything else. Just the sounds was enough. Um, that was like there were amazing jump scares, you know, and like for me, I don't, I don't play these games explicitly for the jump scares, right? Like, I play it because it's... Being scared has always been kind of fun, if that makes sense. Like, I hate it. I, I, I hate it. But it also is like, it lets me really get into a game and really, like, focus my 100% attention on something because it's so frightening. You're just, like, I get sucked in so easily. Um... I thought that the the camera was like similar to the first one. It's more of a, a a gameplay tool, but I like the fact that they added where you can record the different scenes and then you can play back what your thoughts were on that scene. Um, it's strange though that like if going back to my theory, like if the afterlife thing, uh, if that's the real scenario. The camera was recording these, like, memories or whatever. Not memories. These ca The camera was recording what was happening, and we could play it back. But then when we went... When we had, like, the flashbacks to high school or to elementary school, um, those recordings were just static. You know? And there were some things... People were saying that you could reverse those recordings and hear what they were saying, but still, you don't... You know? You don't know that. Um, you don't know what the implications of those are. So... Yeah, kind of weird, but the I, I like that they wrote like the whole gospel essentially of um, like Noth, the new Ezekiel or whatever. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I thought the, the the scenes where you're getting chased gave a real sense of like dread. The the cornrows near the beginning of the game that was pretty freaky um, as like a standout one. The one the one gripe that I have, the biggest gripe that I have is like what I would call the the trial and error chases where if you made one wrong turn like you're immediately dead and maybe that's just a maybe that's a gameplay difficulty thing like maybe if you played it on the normal difficulty um you could absorb like three or four hits and kind of feel like oh I'm getting away from them you know um but a lot of them you're in a passage where you would let's say you turn right as an example and it's a dead end but then they'd be behind you anyways I don't think you could really get past them so kind of kind of like that part really irked me and there was towards the end there were obviously more of these chase scenes and i kind of felt like this was the dumbest gameplay mechanic ever because once you get caught it sucks out a lot of the anxiety and a lot of the um that feeling of being chased because now it's you're focused purely on the gameplay instead of the experience, if that makes sense. That was like a major gripe that I had, but I really enjoyed it, as you could probably tell. Um, this was a this was a like the Outlast games, they're unique in the sense that like you don't have any weapons, you're totally defenseless. You kind of think like Amnesia, right? As as a bigger inspiration than something like obviously Resident Evil. Um, maybe not inspiration, but a, a better comparison where you're defenseless and you're kind of left to your own devices um there weren't a lot of like puzzles the only one i could really think of was the uh like turning on those two switches to turn off the power but other than that it was pretty straightforward uh, which i didn't mind because this is more about the experience and the story than it was about like puzzles which is fine for me but overall like really cool i did obviously miss a few things um See, and like, if we go in here, she's clearly not, she's clearly not pregnant. Like, she's, she's not. Um, we found quite a bit. Hold on. Oh, wait, does this have everything now? Oh, I bet you this is just the recordings that we got. We did miss some, for sure. Um, but I think we did a pretty good job. Let's see what some of these names are. 
The storm, fire in the sky, death prophet or dead prophets. She'll never die. She will never die. And that's then we have the flashback to Jessica. Hmm. Kind of, I'm not sure exactly on my interpretation, but um, overall, I, I really enjoyed the experience. I hope you guys did too. Um, really, really, really freaky. And like I was pretty much hooked right from the beginning. So that's always a good sign for me anyway. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I, uh, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully we'll see you around in the next one. Um, if this is your first time on my channel because of Outlast 2, then thank you for coming over and checking it out. There's um, tons of other horror games that I've done in the past. But I do um, I like to do a lot of different games. Anything with like a really interesting story that kind of sucks me in from the beginning is cool to me. Like, I really, really like that. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I appreciate it, guys. And I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. If you uh, want to leave it in a YouTube comment, that's totally cool. Uh, if you're interested in discussing it more in depth, then you can uh, check out the Discord server. If you go to discord.gg slash Um There's a lot of people in there talking in the Outlast 2 uh, channel about... Um, what might be going on and some hypotheses in there if you want to contribute to that then cool anyways thank you guys so much we'll see you in the next one goodbye